Well, well, well. Welcome to another one of my videos, of course, about butterflies and moths. Now it seems that I can show you new butterflies and moths nearly every day. And while I will show you the caterpillars sometimes, I rarely show you the way I rear them. Because I have a lot more behind the scenes than I show on YouTube because I like showing individuals, not cages full of them, which looks chaotic and dirty sometimes. Either way, this is sweet gum in water bottles that keeps it fresh. And on the branches here, if we just look closely, we will see many caterpillars feeding on it. And now you're wondering what this species is. And this is the Actias sinensis. Actias sinensis is one of the many species of oriental uh, Saturnidae silk moths. Of course, it is a type of moon moth. And if we just look more closely here, they're well camouflaged, but if we inspect the, the leaves, we will see that there are many of them. Here are a few more. In fact, there are, I think, about 30 of them in here. Here we have another one, see? And what's interesting is the Actias sinensis is one of the easiest and fastest moon moths to raise in captivity. If you have sweet gum or eucalyptus it is because they are picky and they don't really like much other plant than just sweet gum and eucalyptus. Some people have raised them on, um, on betula, which is called birch in English. But I'm not sure if that's very successful. But if you have sweet gum, these guys are incredibly easy. And beautiful too. Very nice. Oh, and by the way, there is one lonely Citeronia caterpillar here. Why it is, is it here um, between the moon moths? Well, it was the last one um, that refuses to pupate. Its brothers and sisters have already pupated, but this one is so slow growing, it's kind of a runt. I kind of hope it's not a sick one because it shouldn't uh, infect my moon moths. But yeah, I guess I had some leftover space. And let's see what's here. Well, here we can see some of the nice red tubercules. Red and blue. Really nice caterpillars, to be honest. There we go. And I'm about to change their food plant. So just doing a quick video before I'm about to change them anyways thanks for watching and of course if you're curious about what the adult moths will look like you'll just have to follow my channel because of course I'm going to show you them once they've hatched and these are the final instars so they should spin up and turn into adult moths in about one or two months time. These are really fast. So thanks for watching and until next video.